Larry Darkman in big trouble with the governor of Borno State after doing this. Guys, watch this video to see what Barry Darkman did to draw the attention of the Boko Haram state. It's becoming very, very obvious that they deliberately let that dam broke in Borno. In case you are unaware of the current situation in Borno state, a massive flood has washed away houses, properties, claiming lives and leaving a lot of people stranded, hungry and in a pathetic state. The same Borno state where the Chibo girls were abducted. And Barry Darkman, alongside other humanitarian organizations, started donating to help the people through the government of Borno state. Now, as of early hours of this morning, at 12 a.m. to be precise, Barry Darkman sent someone to check on the welfare of the people and with video evidence found nothing was done. People were hungry and begging for food. The billions donated was not put to use. The furious activist called out the government on his Instagram page for being wicked and holding the money, even using the palliatives of the masses to throw private parties. And he encouraged the humanitarian organizations like the UN to go and collect their money back from Borno state government. And should they wish to help to do it by themselves no more middlemen guys please watch this video and let us know your thoughts in the comments is very dark man doing too much for calling the UN to collect their money back or should the government be accountable and explain why help is not reaching the masses all right so this video is to the united nation i will open my comment section so that it will be tagged heavily this video is not to call for help or assistance. This video is for you people to go back to Borono State Government and collect back your $6 million that you donated. This morning, I sent somebody at 12 a.m. this morning to go and check the status and situation of things of those people that made people start donating money. And as at 12 a.m. this morning, being 18th, September 2024, this is the status of things. This morning, those people slept inside the rain. Do you understand? They slept inside the rain, no shelter and nothing. Meanwhile, because of these people, a lot of donations have come in to the hands of the Burundi state government. So what are they using those money for? They did not share it to the people. And at the end of the day, some of them were using this palliative for souvenirs in their own private events. It's becoming very, very obvious that they deliberately let that dam broke in Burundi. Because of these people, see what that, see what that flooding did to that people. Over three hundred thousand houses were destroyed. This, this dam, this flood came two a.m. in the morning. Two a.m. when people were sleeping, the people that could not swim, they drowned, and money is being donated. So, United Nations, go back and collect your money. Now, anybody that wants to help this situation in Bruno, if you cannot go there by yourself, don't donate to any government. They will not give these people your money. Next thing now, Boko Haram will come and give them good offers. Terrorism will start. Kidnapping will start.